Well, are you starting to finally cool off? Well, we had 96 degrees today in Denver, marking our 30th day this year in the 90s. It is the fastest we've ever reached 30 days above 90, breaking the old record in 2012. Kelly Worth has been sweating it out on her assignment today and joins us now <laughs> from Little Man Ice Cream. Hey, Karen, if you could believe it, look at this. How many people are out here at 10 o'clock at night lined up for ice cream, even trying to stay cool in the cool evening? A shop like this is probably one of the best places to work during this heat wave, but alas, not so many of us can be so lucky. If you think it's hot outside, it's really sizzling in here. It's like cooking in a hot box sometimes. The summer heat wave is making it extra caliente in a Cyan Fernando's food truck, especially since its small generator cannot run the air conditioner and the grill at the same time. We just try and send out food really quickly. Um, the name Taco Velos literally means the speedy taco. Hi, are you ready to order? Even with the toasty temps, customers are hungry for a hot plate of tacos. So Fernando whipped up a creative contraption to stay cool in the kitchen. You turn it on and it has a fan right here and then we have ice inside of it. Ironically, this ice chest turned AC works thanks to the sun. The good thing is that it's solar powered so the heat helps today. So definitely goes hand in hand. So these guys didn't just beat the heat, they put it to work and business is on fire. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. Well, good news for all of us. There is some relief on the way, and Lauren Whitney will detail that cool down in weather in just a few minutes. Reporting live in Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado first.